All aboard the dinosaur train! Let's have an in-depth review of this toy, but first let's enjoy some train eye candy. Just to get your head around how big or small this train is, I have added some Thomas Chuggington and Cars toys to the layout. Chew, chew! Okay, I think I've seen enough of this dinosaur train. Let me come in and turn it off. You turn it off there by the funnel and let's take a closer look at what's going on here. I picked this dinosaur train up at the reject shop. It's a learning curve set. I only paid $20 for it. That's actually very inexpensive compared to what it was when I first saw it in the shops in Australia. It's a very easy play set to set up. Comes with a very good little instruction booklet. It's a Jim Henson program, which I didn't know. Usually anything that's Jim Henson is tends to be quality, as in the show. Um, but as for a train set, I don't know. I've got a few issues with it, but we'll get onto that soon. There's all the other dinosaurs. This was a playset from 2011, so it's a bit old. I still see they're pumping out playsets for this uh, brand. There's another playset there. And via the Target Australia mid-year toy sale, I can show you something more recent. There it is there, it looks like a submarine train with dinosaurs, interesting combination. Look at the price there, it says $24, save $25, so basically that's a $50 set at full price. But that's in Australia guys, in the USA, that would never happen. And you know what, that's why I thought paying only $20 for that set there is fantastic value. What is nice, you can buy extra rolling stock and dinosaurs, and I picked these up at the reject shop, they were $8 each. I thought that was a pretty good price, considering they're quite large. And I'll tell you what, we'll do a bit of a load test. I'll unbox all of these and we'll stick them on the train and see how it goes. I'll just get an unboxing shot here because people seem to love seeing things getting unboxed. I don't know what it is about things being unboxed that people like, but I love to see this. It's such a YouTube thing. It's very difficult to explain to people who don't understand it. Come out of here. Wow, a bit of dinosaur rage and I might be able to get them out. Probably those secret rubber bands there are. Look at that, those nasty secret rubber bands. Ah, uh, yeah, so I think I can see what caused the dinosaurs to become extinct. They got caught up in those rubber bands in the packaging and choked. Okay, our dinosaur trainers just got a lot longer and a lot taller. And for the fact that one of those dinosaurs is so tall, I'm going to take away these really nasty bits of cardboard dressing that came with the set. That's probably one of the things I dislike about it the most. As far as I'm concerned, they can go straight in the bin. I think it looks much better like that. Let's get steaming. Go baby! And let's do it with these!
quite an impressive dinosaur train. Just at that back dinosaur will take a dive, wonder what's going to happen. Oh no! Oh, he's getting the scooting along. That's quite interesting. Let's give it a little bit more of a test. Because it's got the same style of coupling as those chuggers over there, let's add a few chuggers onto the back of this train. And I'll save this guy because that joke is now over. You know, anyone who's got children will understand that kids love to mash things up. They don't like to divide things, they like to bring them together. And just thinking back to that toy catalog I had in the video earlier on, sadly, Chuggington are no longer represented, so I'd hate to think that it's the end of chuggers. Um, to me, that was such a, a grand toy. Okay, this is now quite an extensive train. I've got three heavy interactive chuggers in there. Let's give it a spin. Come on, dinosaur train. And it's just doing it. Uh, doesn't like the corners too much, but I've got a feeling it likes the straight. There she goes. That's pretty good in my books, pulling all that along and all those curves. Pretty good indeed. We're gonna break away, we're gonna break away. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, it's always a crash, isn't it? Well, let's take a look at the locomotive on this train. It's quite curious for a few facts. I'll strip off the dinosaur. Well, there it is there. It's, um, I suppose, fairly basic. It's not, not too much detail lavished into this. My son had it up in the house for a few weeks. He played with it for a few days, and then he went back to his Thomas stuff. It's got two AAA batteries in there. That's the smaller ones in AA. And what's interesting is it's powered by both the front and the back wheels. And they've got traction tyres on them. And it's probably because it's got this double drive system, it can, it can really pull a fair bit, of, fair bit of weight, as we've seen in the video. What's interesting is the coupling ball and socket that they use, which is very similar to Chuggington, um, is actually not as strong, and it's so easy to flex there. And I've already had it pull away once, pulling a load. Let's have a look at a Chuggington one. You can see how soft it is there. Let me show you a Chuggers. Well, here's the back of Coco, and if I try and press that there, you can see it's a lot firmer. Maybe they've made the dinosaur train easier to pull apart by making that socket softer. Well, here it is coupling, and it is a lot easier than those Chuggington Interactive, but it doesn't feel like it's going to last that long before it gets too loose and plays havoc. Well, maybe one of the most important questions is, what other very popular track systems does this little train run on? And I think that's going to be the one that is the yay or nay to this little train set. This dinosaur train track system is quite unusual. And at first glance you might think, well, it looks just like take and play or take along track. Let me take a piece away and let me put some take and play in there. And you can see that there's a sizable difference. Let's give the train a spin on some take and play. Uh-oh, we've got some problems. So unfortunately on the take and play track, it's a no-go. Okay, let's introduce what would be the most popular toy train track, the wooden railway track, let's go. Uh-oh. That's a shame, that's a really important sort of track to fit into if you want to become really popular. How about a bit of Chuggington diecast track? Surely we're going to fit on here. I can't even get the train to go down between the track there. That is another fail. How about a piece of Chuggington interactive track? It's not often you see that on my channel. We saw the interactive chuggers running on the dinosaur train. Here we go. Uh oh. Looks like a fail. I'm quite surprised it is close, oh so close, but that train is wider than that track gauge. How about the good old Trackmaster track? As we know, that's for the Thomas stuff. 
But even though it's Chuggington Interactive, we're running this track quite happily. Let's get the dinosaur train going. Come on, baby, let's do it. Nah. And I've got to say, now I see all this, it leaves this dinosaur train in a fairly awkward position indeed. As I've said in a previous video, one of the biggest bugbear for parents is buying toy trains and getting loaded with another track system. And this dinosaur train lands us with a track system and train that is basically incompatible with everything else. So, if people say to me, Leo, what don't you like about the dinosaur train? Well, it's the fact that this little train here does not go on to any of these other tracks, which most people may already have at home. And possibly another thing I do not like about this train is the fact that it uses this ball and socket coupling system. There's only one other train type in this layout that it connects to, and we saw it earlier in the video, and that's the interactive chuggers. The diecast chuggers actually use a slightly smaller ball and they do not fit. And as I saw with my son, when he tried to couple his take and play trains to the dinosaur train, it wouldn't work. There was no magnetic coupling there. So the playability for him was diminished. And on a reciprocal argument, there's actually quite a few toys that will run on this wider format track. So I shouldn't write it off completely. It has got one or two good aspects, but do we really need another track system in the house? But all is not lost here. I did witness my son playing with this dinosaur train in a little bit of a different way. And it's more about stripping away the dinosaurs and putting in a different cargo. Well, it's always fun to have a dinosaur train. Dinosaurs and trains, how can you go wrong? But what's better than a dinosaur train? A pony train. Oh, yes, those lovely ponies fit so well into those large carriages on the dinosaur train. And let's not stop at just ponies. You can throw just about any toy onto this dinosaur train. And maybe it's better off to call it the carnival train because it looks like it's something going to a carnival. And I'm pretty sure we all know that children's imagination can run wild and they will mix and match toys in ways that adults can never perceive. So we've established the dinosaur train is excellent at carrying other toys. But let's also remember your Trackmaster trains make a very impressive dinosaur train as well. Diesel 10 Dinosaur Train. Now that's a hit movie title for sure. And just when you thought it was safe to mix and match, somehow the two trains collided. Boom! 
And now it's a test of strength. This fight is gonna get ugly. Oh no, the dinosaurs. I can't stand the watch. Oh boy, what a train wreck. Every wagon and truck has lost its load and from the wreckage I can't tell which train has won the battle. Anyway, it seems Diesel 10 is still smiling. And that to many says it all. Dinosaur train fail! Fail! Let's give our train a spin on the take and play and sadly it's a no go. Oh, taking a runner. Hey How about the good old Trackmaster track? That's for Thomas stuff as we know. But what's really nice about this track is you're checking it. Checking oh blood 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 blood. Well, I certainly hope I've answered some questions in relation to the Dinosaur Train train sets. If you'd like me to do more Dinosaur Train stuff, please let me know. And if you've lasted this long on this very long video, I thank you for doing so, and bye for now.